In this video, we're going to look at nine shortcut keys we can use in Chrome to make our life a little bit easier. So whether you're a student, whether you're using it for work, or whether you're using it for business or anything, knowing shortcut keys can make your life a lot easier and make you much more efficient when dealing with applications inside of Windows or Mac or any operating system. And especially when using Chrome, because most people use Chrome to browse the internet, and a lot of people use Chrome for um, tools and applications that you can install inside of Chrome to help you work much faster and more efficient either online or offline. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we are inside of Chrome. So let's take a look at our first shortcut key that you're probably going to use anyway, and that's to open up a new window. A lot of times when you're inside of Chrome, you have your window here, and then you go up to the top. Let me... Uh, push this down a little bit you'll go up to the top here and you'll click on create a new tab right so there's a difference between a new tab which will end up to the right of the first tab and a new window which is an entire window for Chrome if I wanted to do that without a shortcut key I will go here and I would push here to new window but you see here inside of the this little dots right here there's these three dots over here this is your uh, let's say your menu inside of that menu at the bottom you can see I can go new window and that's control N if I hit control N on my keyboard I can get a new window and if I hit control N again I get a new window and that's good for when you're searching for something and you don't want to change it you just want to start a new window push it to the other screen a lot of times people have multiple screens and they want to push it over or sometimes you're working on multiple things multiple references and you don't want to have uh, the tabs hiding it and you want to see both things at the same time that's pretty good for that so that is control N um, and we can jump right into the tab because if I hit control T that's gonna open up as many tabs as I want by constantly hitting control T so what does the tabs allow me to do? Well, I don't have to worry about multiple windows, that's for sure. So if I want something that is basically going to, I, I just want a, a tab open, but I don't want the windows taking up real estate, this is the best way to organize your references or your websites wherever you're visiting. Um, and just keep in mind that Chrome has an extension where you can open up PDF files. So you can do things on your computer that have nothing to do with the Internet. And sometimes you have a tab open with a PDF file. Sometimes you have a tab open with um, YouTube or, let's say, like Rumble or something like that on it. And sometimes you have a tab that's open up with some sort of um, documentation or even... Some people watch movies and they watch, let's say, like anime or something, and they're studying at the same time. We know that happens all the time. A lot of people do that. So the tabs is perfect, perfect for that because while you can have something playing here, you can also be working on something here, using something here, and actually doing something else over here. So that's what the tabs are good for. So since we're opening up tabs, why don't we look at how we can close tabs? So I'm going to go here, and this current tab is open. I want to close that with a shortcut key. That's going to be Control-W, Control-W. I'm just constantly clicking that to, to close these tabs till I get to my home tab. So Control-W is what we would use to close the tabs. So let's say I went to, let's say, a website, and I'm just going to go to learners.com. Cloud. That's a good website. So I'm here on learners.cloud and I'm doing some stuff. But let's say I wanted to actually go back to the previous page that I was on. So I could click on this back button here. You should be able to see that back button there. That will send me back to the previous page. And I can click on this forward button here to go to the page that I was previously on or the, the current page that I'm on right now. But there's an easier way for me to do that by hitting um, the Alt key and the left arrow. So if I hit the Alt key and left, I go back one page. And if I hit the Alt key and the right, I go forward one page. And I can keep on doing that. If I had more pages, let's say if I were to click on this right here, and this is playing, and, but I wanted to go back one page, I can click on the Alt and the left. And Alt and right will send me right back there. Alt and left will send me back here. And Alt and left will send me back to the first page 
So you can navigate the pages or the places that you visited by holding down Alt and hitting the left arrow key or the right arrow key. It makes you much faster than going up here, clicking on this arrow, clicking on this arrow. You can be doing something here and just hit Alt and, and scroll through the, the various pages that you were visiting to be able to navigate um, you know, through Chrome. So when, whenever you open up Chrome, let's say I'm, I'm going to open up a new tab. This is my home page, right? So you can create your own home page. Whatever you want your home page to be, you can actually add that inside of Chrome. But for right now, this is my home page. And we'll talk about how to make your home page later. But for right now, this is my home page. So let's say I am on this page and I want to quickly get to my home page. So instead of me having to navigate to my home page, I can hit Alt and Home. On the keyboard so there's a key on your keyboard called home normally it's on the right hand side all the way up where those six buttons are is right next to insert most of the time so you uh you have insert delete end page up page down and there should be a button called a key a key called home and if you hit alt and home it'll send you back to your home page without actually having to type it in or navigating there or doing anything that will cause you more time spent on clicking buttons. So let's look at a shortcut key that's actually going to help us with navigation. So let's say I'm on this tab. I'm on this window here and I scroll all the way down. You know, there's some websites that have very long scrolls and especially in today's age where they're basically one page websites where you just constantly scroll, scroll, scroll. So if I want to get back to the top, I could go here to this little bar right here this is my scroll bar I can go all the way up to the top this way or if I'm busy over here with my mouse I can literally just hit uh, a shortcut key to get back to the top of the page and that's going to be um, shift and space so if I hit shift and space it's going to send me up to the top of the page now I'm constantly hitting shift and space you see so I hold down the shift key and I just tap the space button. So I'm going to go all the way down here again. I'm going to hold the shift key down, tap the space button. Or I can just hold the space button down and it'll go all the way up to the top. So when I'm done using Chrome, I could close this window. So cl that means close this current window with a shortcut key. And that shortcut key is going to be control shift. So let's say if I hit control and shift and actually Let's talk about the shift. Let's talk about this one right here, the one where we went up and down, because I gave you guys the Mac version. So if I say uh, shift and space, it goes up, up, right? But if I want to just scroll all the way up to the top, we would use the home key on the keyboard for PCs. So I almost messed you guys up. So for Mac, it is shift and space. And for PC, it is shift and it is home key. There we go. So to scroll all the way up to the top, we just hit the home key on a PC. On that same note, if I want to go to the bottom of the page, I'd hit the N key on a PC to go to the bottom of the page. Uh, so on Mac, that would be, that would be uh, Alt-Shift. So let me go to the top of the page and... Um, Alt and, sorry, Alt and Space. And Shift and Space will send me to the top for Mac. For PC, again, it would be Home, that will send me to the top. N, that will send me to the bottom. Home, that will send me to the top. So let's say I wanted to close this window, right? I want to minimize the current window. I don't, I'd not necessarily close it. I can hit Alt and then Space. So as we all know, inside of our browser, there's cookies, there's all this data that's being collected, blah, 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 all these things. We all know about that, right? But suppose you wanted to actually surf, surf the web without cookies being saved on your system. Suppose you wanted to serve more securely, not 100% secure, but more securely than being tracked with everything that you're doing or cookies being added or your history being stored on your computer. Where there's a way we can do that and we can do it with a shortcut key. If I hit Control, Shift, and N, 
I'm going to open up an incognito uh, window. And in the incognito window, it doesn't actually store my history. It doesn't store anything inside the browser. So when I close it, and as you can see here, this little button up here, it says incognito. And it allows you to surf the web without anything being stored, without any cookies being added. So for our final shortcut key, um, I think that should be nine. We're going to now see how we can quit Google Chrome. And that will be Alt and F. And then once you hit Alt and F, you hit X. So hopefully these shortcuts uh, will be helpful to you. And I would warn you not to take the shortcut keys lightly. If you are trying to get a job, if you're trying to be more efficient, if you really want to show how much you know about computers, at the very least, you need to learn the shortcut keys of the applications that you're using. Shortcut keys make you that much faster. And I would say, obviously, off the top of my head, it would make you almost 50% faster if you knew more shortcut keys than those who do not. So just keep that in mind when you're moving forward. Understand that it's not how much you know, it's how you use what you know in many cases when it comes to computers. Because there is no one person who knows every single thing about computers that there is because there's just too much to know. Um, so keep that in mind as you move forward. Don't try to know everything. Just try to be more efficient in the things that you do know. All right, so that's all we have for today. And hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, Make sure that you like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you share this information to those who you think need it, and I'll see you guys next time.